Ricky, your, your fight uh, that's been rearranged, remember last time we spoke, it's now being arranged, is that for November or December? December, yeah, December the 5th. Yeah, do you want to just tell us a little bit about that and obviously um, for people that haven't seen the interview, reasons why it was rearranged? Yeah, so um, in my last camp my glove rubbed and I ended up getting a finger infection, um, so we've had to set a little setback, but we're back in camp, ready for the 5th of December, um, Southern Aero Title Defence, live on Channel 5. And how important is it that you, you get out like this year? 100% important, you know. Um, rounds is what I need experience, you know. You can't buy the experience, so, you know, I need to get, you know, I need to be out 100%, yeah. yeah. And on the TV as well. Yeah, it's most important, you know. Big exposure for myself and my team, so, yeah, it's definitely 100% go with that one. Yeah. John, since you've been, like, training Ricky, how, you know, to tell me a little bit how he's, like, come on and what's Well, he, he's adapted really well to what I want. You know, his previous coach was great, and he was a great fighter, but for what I want, I think we've got a connection that's really come on quick and he's learning. You know, um, it's all beyond closed doors what you do because on the night he's going to be a different fighter than he was. And how important, again, is it to you is like he gets us out this year because it's obviously been quite a Very while. important, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, the, what I've seen of him, also. But I'm glad in a way that, he, not that he had finger infection, but it gave us a lot more time to develop him how I'd like and the team would like. So um, it's not a bad thing really, is it? Yeah, you've got a good relationship with Hamsi, so it's good to Yeah, to, to I'm quite well with Nick when, when he picks the phone up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Um, so it was great for Ricky to get on that deal, wasn't it? Was it are you, were you tempted to get out on the um, Czech Poland card? It's, it's in the limelight, um, you know, we might use it as part of, a part of our camp. Um, we don't see, you know, my team think it's good for myself. Like I said before, you, you can't buy the rounds and experience, you know, you can do all the sparring, you can do all the work in the gym, you know, but under them lights, it's a totally different ball game. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd be good to, you know, put together what I've been working with my trainer, Johnny, um, and, you know, use it, you know, as a good, you know, learning curve, you know, and try and work on what we've been, I've been taught by, by him. Yeah, just, just going on that, obviously, you're, you're half, well, actually, most of your stables going out there, aren't they? Uh, uh, yeah. Check, um, do you want to talk to me a little bit about that? Obviously, you've got some data. Yeah, well, I've got a good relationship with Martin, MSM Pole Management, who's a previous manager of Michael Hunter. He got a stable of fighters that he managed all over the world. Um, we got them very well. I'm sitting down, how can we get these fighters out? We found a great venue in Poland, and we found another great venue in the Czech Republic. Um, and it's going to go ahead. We've got probably eight or nine of my fighters from stable here um, that's going plus a few other boxes that's going um, and it's going to be boxing isn't it you know it's, it's, yeah, how difficult and frustrating has it been for you and you know, not being able to really get your fighters well it's frustrating for them, but um, I've had to keep on to them for keeping this gym every time you've come we're working as we're in camp you know just you know we're working we're working and if the phone goes for some of our fighters like George is 10 and 0 now that we're you know within two weeks we're ready to fight you know and obviously the fight's going to be available uh, to so UK viewers. Yeah, we're doing a pay-per-view platform. Uh, a lot of the boxers, i.e. Ricky, have got a lot of followers. Um, so hopefully they will buy whatever it is, five, seven quid, I don't know what it's going to be yet. But, but it's quite a bit to put it on. We're not looking to make money on the thing. We're looking to get the boxers out. We're looking to get them a win. And we're looking for the fans to buy a little ticket to mm -hmm. help all of them on the way. A few of them got sponsors. A matter of fact, a few of them were dipping into their own pocket or a bit of help from the family. So that's so desperate they're out to box, you know. Without, like, unless you've got a TV kind of contract or, like, you know, lucky enough like Ricky to get on um, yeah. Channel 5, it's, it's, this is going to be the only way you well, can Well, it is, you know, and, you know, six months, 12 months is a big dent in the boxer's career not stepping in the ring, isn't it? Is it, can you, can you see this is potentially the way to go yeah, for the next year or so? If this is a, just a success, so we don't mind if we can just break even, then we'll be do, we do one every six weeks. Yeah. Um, Ricky, just going back to you, obviously, you know, you got that fight um, later on this year, like, it, with 2021 kind of fast approaching, what, ID, what would, what would you like next year? Be nice, to, you know, maybe step, go out and defend this successfully, which we're going to do, and then it would be nice to step up for the English title. And then, you know, my dream, like I said, I've sold my calf, I've sacrificed everything to fight for the British title, yeah, and that's my dream, so we'll just keep stepping forward chasing that dream. Yeah, and with me, I don't want him just to fight the British title, he's going to fucking win it. Yeah. You know, right, that's, the, the, that's the mindset we're, you know, yeah. going, we're going to win the British title, because mm. he, 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 he has got the skill set, and he has got, he, he will win the British title. And obviously, you know, again, on TV, opportunity to look good, you know, yeah. you, know you get... Open eyes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, hopefully... You get that kind of British title next year. Yeah, definitely, mate. Hundred percent. Yeah. He's got the right right promoter behind you, haven't you? Yeah. So. Yeah.
It's a team around me. Um, it's just down to myself, you know, to learn my craft now and um, get out and do it, you know. One uh, thing I was going to ask, obviously, with your teammates kind of fighting um, like next month, does that kind of motivate you even more, like just to want to, like, you know, oh, I've got a fight coming up? Um, yeah, definitely. It's it's a good surrounding way and um, to have the buzz off of them, you know, and myself, it's, it's a good feeling all the way around, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. And it'd be good, I, if, even if I don't fight, I think I'll be trying to get out there to support the team, you know, even if I'm not fighting, I'll be out and out there, you know, be part of it, definitely. Well, it's going to be like a, pretty much a British card, isn't it? Yeah, yeah very much so. Yeah, yeah definitely be good. Be good. All right, well, listen, thanks for like, giving us some of your time. I can see your sponsorships, Sam. Do you want to like kind of read off your sponsorships? Yeah, I want to say a big thank you to uh, EP Builders, Fade Away Blazing the Clinic, the Flex Prep Kitchen and Box Smart. Uh, for my clothing sponsor, a big thank you to them as well. And how do people follow you on social media? So it's Team Little Boxing Life on uh, Instagram and Ricky Little Professional Boxer on Facebook. Cool. Do you want any final words? Thanks, Stuart. You're always, always supporting us, and uh, thanks for the filming and the interview. Sure, right, no worries. Hope you see you Cheers. Take care.